Okay, guys. We're going to go over how to draw a half face where I've given you half of a picture. And then we are going to draw the other half. Um, <clears throat> this works if you have your face straightforward. You don't want it to be leaning up or down or to the sides. Straightforward is the easiest way to do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I just took a piece of white paper. I folded it in the quarters so I can use this for my measurements and for my 90 degree angle. Okay. So to start off, I just have it taped so it doesn't go anywhere. And I'm going to use this 90 degree angle. I'm putting this up against the center of my face, underneath my eye. And I'm going to draw a line there. So it's always with the center of the face here and under the eye. I go ahead and I make that line. And I'm going to extend it across onto the other half of my paper so that I know where that eye is going to sit. And I want to make that light so I can erase it. From there, I'm going to start measuring using this card. I always line it up with the center. And then I'm going to make marks for, okay, inside of the white. So there is my tear duct. Here is the outside of my eye. If I'm looking straight forward, I can even mark pupils. Now, if I'm looking off to one side or the other, this doesn't work, okay? Because we're going to be mirroring these um, measurements, and if you were, was looking out, you'd look like your eyes are going to opposite directions. So, since I'm straight forward, I can go tear duct, outside of my iris, and the outside of my eye there. I flip it over so that I'm mirroring those measurements, and then I mark it on my eye line. The next measurement I'm going to need is its height. So off of this line, how tall it is. So this is to the inside. I'm not looking at my shadows, eyelids, eyelashes. It's just the inside of my eye there. I transfer it over here, make that mark. So I know my eye has to go that high. <clears throat> I'm looking here, my tear duct is pretty close on the line, but the outside of my eye goes up. Okay, That's very um, common if you're smiling. Makes the outside of your corners of your eyes smile with you. So I know my tear duct's here. It pretty much sits on the line. I have a smooth arc. So I'm following that smooth arc and I know it has to come down to here and be about that length. Okay. Since I'm looking straight forward, I know that my pupil goes here and it's cut off both at the top and the bottom. So there's my top and bottom and they're cut off. And then I see my pupil. For me, it's this picture, it's in the center. You need to draw what you see on your picture. Okay, so if I was looking off to the side, I'd have to make sure that both of my irises were off looking to the side. Here you don't see much of a highlight, but I like to make sure there is a highlight because that gives your eyes a little shine like they're wet, makes you seem more alive, more realistic. Okay, so that's all I need for my eye. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find my nose, okay? So I'm gonna do the same procedure. I line this up with the center under my nose and then I draw that line I take it across with a ruler and then I'm going to do some measurements to find my nose I'm going to take off my eye measurements so that I don't get confused <clears throat> and okay so this is my septum that center part of your nose I know my septum's about that wide Here's where my nostril ends, and then here's where my nose ends. Once again, we have to mirror this. So I flip it over on that line. Here is septum, nostril, outside of my nose. I want to know how high this nostril goes. So here's my nostril height. So I know my nostril has to go up this high. So from here, I can look at shapes. So I see that this comes up at an angle, comes down. Okay, see how this is like a teardrop shape? It's not round. And so I'm gonna bring it around and I'm actually not gonna close it because there's a shadow here, it's not a hard line. And then I see how this part of my nose touches the line here, which is about down from the side of my nostril and it comes up and out. So it's gonna start here and it comes up and out and all I'm gonna do is to there. 
this part up here, that's going to be shown using shadows and not hard lines. So I have my nose. Next thing is we need is our mouth. So to do my mouth, I'm once again going to erase so I don't confuse myself and I'm going to draw some lines to help me set up my mouth. So I'm going to draw a line at the top of the mouth. So there's the top of the mouth. I'm going to draw one under the mouth or the lips rather. Okay. And I could even put one in the center if I wanted. Then I need to use my ruler to extend those. Okay, so I extend that one, I extend this one, and then I can start making measurements. <clears throat> I can measure, well, I know that this is this far, but I could measure how far does this go out. Corner of my mouth goes out to here. So I transfer that over, there's the corner of my mouth there. And I see that it's just under the line here, right? If I want, I could measure where this curve is, like how far from here to here is that curve. So I know that that curve has to go out to there. So it has to come out to here. My lips end before the corner of my mouth, which is really common. So I know that this line curves up slightly and it has to end here, right? I know that this, my lips are really thin. So it's somewhere in there. This, it stops even further um, from the edge. So it's gonna stop around here and it comes down at an angle. And that looks pretty good. So from here, I'm gonna start finding the outsides of my head. So I'm gonna use measurements again. And I wanna make sure that I'm going straight and 90 degrees. So I'm gonna give myself some more lines so I can compare. So there's a line. And I'm gonna give myself a line so I can find my hair. How far is it from the center? So I'm gonna give myself a line here. Okay. And here I can see that my hair is sort of flat, but I want to make it a little more round so it doesn't look like the center of my head has been something, you know, set on it so it flattens it out. So I'm going to make this a little bit more round. I need to measure how far out it goes. So from center, it goes out to here. So center goes out to here on this line. My hair goes to here, edge of my head goes to there. So I can put those measurements on that line. On my eye line, from center, my hair goes out, let's see here, I got wispies. So I'm gonna say my hair goes out to here and not worry about the wispies right now. There, I can also start putting in my glasses if I have glasses, so I'm gonna put the, my frame right here. Here's my frame right here. Okay. So on this line, I can mark that this is where my frame is. This is where my frame is. I'm going to color it a little darker so I remember that's my frame. And then that's the outside. Okay. On that line. But I'm also noticing, see how my ear is right there. So I have ear touching right here. Okay. Quite a bit of it is hidden from my hair but I can see some. So I'm gonna be putting that ear in also. To make that easier, I'm gonna add some more measurements. Once again, I like to take these off so I don't get confused. So I'm gonna make a line underneath the lens of my glasses because that's gonna make it easier for me to find the lens when I start drawing it. So I draw the line across lightly and I could put measurements there now. So my glasses they touch like right here, the edge of my face. Looks like this is my tragus, that little flap right in front of your ear. And then here's the outside of my ear right there. So I'm gonna flip this. I know my lens touches about here. There's tragus outside of ear. 
Notice my nose line? I hit my earring, right? So I can measure from center. There's the side of my head and there's my ear. So it's very tiny at that point. So on that nose line, there is my ear. So I know, see how these lines, they give me my ear and I'm looking at this. <clears throat> so it comes up to there and then it wraps around a little bit. And it's sort of, see how it's sort of angular? Okay. Make sure you look at whatever it is you have. In some cases you won't even see an ear because your hair is in front of it. Okay, that's my glasses. I see how right under my glasses I see this part of my ear. And then there's a shadow in here. This is where my tragus is. And I notice there's a shadow here. Okay. And then there's a shadow under this part of my ear. And then I have my earring, which I could measure how far out my earring goes. And I see it comes down, touches the face. So let's find out where that face part is. So on that top line, I'm going to take off my prior measurements right there. Flip it. I see that that's the line right there. On my, under my lips, it's there. The little arrow so it's easier. I need to know that that's the one I want. Okay. And <clears throat> some of you have a nice clean chin line. For me, see how I have these shadows? I really don't have a hard jawline. So I know that it's here because that's where it ends up. And it comes here. I'm going to do this. Give myself a measurement. Draw that line across. Right about there. So I know that it curves up to right about here. Okay, and I can keep that really light because that's going to end up being a shadow line. And then I have this other shadow line that comes just a little bit past it. So I'm going to put that in there. Um, I can find how wide my sweater is at that, this point. So here's the outside of my the skin part, my neck. Here's outside of my sweater. I flip it on that line so that I have the mirrored image. So I have those two lines there. Okay, looks like I might want this line here to make it easier to figure out where that is. So if I think I need a little more support to find the right place for one of my features to go or to find, see how, and now I'm starting to where I can connect the dots. I know that this comes about here and then it starts winding up has to go through here, has to go through here, right? And then it goes behind my glasses, and this is distorted by my glasses. So I can start, I can make a measurement here, so I can make another line. Oops, looks like I didn't fold straight, so I'll use there so I can have a straight. So I'm gonna put one right underneath my eyebrows, help me find my eyebrows, and find my hair on this area. So right here to here, looks like where my hair is. I'm extending this line across, mirroring it over. Hair goes from here to here. So I know that this is the side of my face, right? This goes here to here. And I know this comes up and somewhere in that range, okay? My hair might come a little bit across. And this is the outside of my hair without wispies. And it comes back down and meets here above my ear. For my glasses, I'm gonna give myself a few more lines. So if you have glasses on your picture, you may need a little bit more support to find those. So right there at where the nose piece goes across, I'm gonna give myself a line. And on that line, I'm gonna find, okay, it goes to there. And then here's my frame again. So my frame goes from here to here, right? The lens and then the frame again. So my nose piece, this goes from here, it ends here. And then out here, I find frames of my glasses. 
right? Right underneath that, I find <coughs> this part. So, I know that this comes up off the line. I could measure how far off the line at the highest point, which is right up from the outside of my eye, pretty close to there. I'm going from eye line. It goes like this high up off of eye line. So making sure I'm on eye line right about at the end of my eye, I know it goes to there. So I can start piecing these together. I know this comes up, has a smooth arc through there, comes back down to about here. I know it has to go through this mark, goes down to about there because I'm just going back and forth comparing. This part <coughs> lines up with about where my earring, so that comes to about here, where that corner is. So this leans down a little bit. It comes down and almost touches this line here. It's fairly square in this corner. And comes up squarish. And then I have this wider area right here. That's right this, okay. And I need to make this a little wider. So in general, there's my glasses. I know this line is heavier. And this line at the bottom is cleaner, so I'm going to come back in and make a cleaner line there. Okay, here, my sweater, the neck comes up here. I could measure from here to here, make another line if I needed to make sure. I knew how far that went and helped me find my shoulder. Extend that across. Find my measurements. So my sweater here, that's part of my sweater, and there's my shoulder way out there, right? So I can do this. There's my shoulder. Okay. So I know my sweater comes in. This is the bump thingy right there, out there. Here's the hem thingy. This comes to about right underneath that line. So about here's where the white, and then it has to come through here, okay? I can measure this starts right here, right? It angles down, goes through there. This is almost straight up and down, and this angles out. I could measure if I needed to help find those things. Okay, so from this point, you're gonna start adding shading. <clears throat> Before you do that, you take out your measure lines because you don't want it to look like you have all these lines across your face. And we're going to start adding shading. So it's the highlights and values, shadows that make your face look more three dimensional. Right now it looks really flat, right? Okay, so you might take a little more time than that. So here's my eye shape again, since I erased a little bit. Eyes, quite often, your iris, the colored part of your eye, has a darker ring. Your pupil is dark. I'm gonna leave a highlight there. And quite often, if you look close at eyes, there's this starburst pattern coming out from the center. So as I add value, make it darker, I'm doing that out from the center. Okay, I notice that I have an eyelid that comes right above. If you don't have an eyelid, how would you open and close your eyes? So that's important. I notice there's a shadow in my tear duct because it's rounded. And there's a little bit of a shadow out here. I have the shadow under my eye. Okay. 
I have shadow over here. And I'm just very, very lightly pressing with my pencil to add values. And then I'm going to um, smudge it. I can use a tissue. I can use a um, roll up piece of paper. I can use my fingers. Okay, if you're using your fingers, make sure you're careful about where you touch your paper after you get it all over your fingers. So see how I'm gonna start shading? At first, it makes your face look a little bit dirty, right? But that's okay. Once we get more of it in, it'll make more sense. Okay, I know that, see how there's this shadow shape here? So I'm very, very lightly putting that in. If I have a hard time not leaving lines, I can always come to another piece of paper, scribble on that a little bit, and then pick it up with my fingers and start adding it that way. Just be real careful that you don't get a really large amount of graphite on your fingers. Okay, the outside of my face is gonna be a little darker. Under my chin's gonna be darker. Okay, so there's that shape. And I need to make my nose. I brought some pencils to show you. Like This is a 2B, that's your normal pencil. This one's a 6B. 6B means that it's a lot softer, okay? If it has an H on the end, that means it's harder, H or F. So I'm gonna take this 6B and show you the difference. So I'm coming with that 6B. See how it's darker? It also smudges a lot easier. So if you can get a hold of a 6B, that makes this a lot easier. Under my nose, there's a shadow there. There's a shadow here. I need to make sure I can still see this. There's the shadow between my lips. And my lips aren't very dark. The lines in my lips go up and down from where my mouth opens. And there's shadows there. See this nose shadow here? My nostril, I'm just going to get it dark, really dark right at the top, and then I'm gonna smudge it down a little bit because it gets lighter. I'm gonna emphasize this a little bit more here and here. See how I have this underneath my nose? That makes my nose stick out so that this ball part at the top is the brightest part and it is where, this is where the light can hit it. This is where it causes a shadow. I see there's one here. some more details. Okay, so you get the idea, right? This would be my earring. I'm just going to draw basically there and there. I can add more shadows. For the hair, you're going to want to simplify it. Like I can see there's these shapes. They're sort of like triangles for me. So I'm going to add some darker shapes that are triangular and they follow the directions that my hair goes. Over here, see how it starts? I have some bangs that hang down. And I try to follow the direction that I see that hair go. And if my hair was curly or wavy, I'd make him more wavy or curly. If I had short hair, I'd use little short strokes to help give me the idea that there's short strokes in there, okay? And then you just keep adding. If you have blonde hair, you're probably going to add values and then come back in with an eraser. Like I have some highlights, I could come back in and erase up highlights, okay? So after I add all my values, I start finding all these details and it starts to look more full. Hopefully this helps you out and that you are very successful drawing your half face.